Hey folks, I uh, just wanted to do a quick demo here on a new feature in AWS called Prefix Lists. AWS released this feature earlier this week. You can see the blog post here. Maybe, there we go. You can see the blog post here. And uh, it's a really interesting new feature that allows us to, well, like the title says here, simplify configuration of both security groups and route tables. Uh, if you've got, you know, a lot of the customers that we work with would have ranges that they use in all of their route tables or all of their security groups, typically for on-premise environments or branch offices and things like that. It needs to be that you would have to create entries for each of those. And, um, you know, you can do that. It's nothing wrong with it. But the uh, prefix list feature here is just a, a really great way to simplify that and also provide a little bit of governance because you can share it across all of your, your different AWS accounts within the organization using the resource access manager or RAM. So today I just wanted to show a quick demo of how you could use this. So I've already logged into my AWS account. I'm going to go to the VPC console. And you'll see down the left hand sidebar now we have manage prefix lists. There are a couple different types of prefix lists right now. There's there's AWS managed lists, which you can see a couple here already, and then you can create your own. So we're gonna we're gonna create a new one here. Sorry, there we go. And I'm gonna use the example that's in the blog post. We're just gonna call this branch office. Uh, you do have to define the maximum number of entries that exist in the list, uh, and this is something that can't be changed once, you're, once you've set it up. So I'm going to go for 12 here, and we're going to use IPv4. And now I could go ahead and I could add the ranges of, let's say, those different branch offices. So I'm just going to add a couple here. And we'll add one more. All right, so there's there's our offices, and we, we're going to tag this. Uh, we'd like to use kind of a standard set of tags, so I'll just I'll use those here. Who owns this list? And how do we get a hold of that person about the list? And we're going to go ahead and say create. Once your list has been created, you get this unique identifier for your prefix list, it you know, starts with PL and then a unique identifier. You'll also know over, notice over here version, so we'll come back to that in a second. Down here we've got our list, any associations, so route tables or security groups. As I mentioned, you can share this through the resource access manager as well. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna show that in this demo, and then the tags. So let's assume that we've got this list and we wanted to create a security group for it. So I'm gonna go over here, click on security groups. We're gonna create a new one. And I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, branch office access. Okay. And we'll just say allow SSH from the branch offices. I'll leave it in the default just to show how this works. And we'll change this to SSH. And then in here, we can just start typing PL. And there's our branch list. So these are the existing ones, the AWS managed ones. And we're going to select the branch office list that we just created and give it, a, give it a description so we can remember what it is later on. And we're good. So now we have a security group that we could associate with resources that instead of having to define all the sources individually, we can just refer to that prefix list that we created. And what's great about this, we can go back later and adjust this list. Okay, so let's say we, uh, we bring in a new branch office. We can go in here and just add a new entry. Okay. And now we've updated it. And we'll just give this a second here. You can see oh, modifications already complete. Last time I, I ran through this, it took a little bit of time. Now we've got two versions. This reminds me a lot of uh, uh, customer managed profiles in IAM, managed policies. What we're able to do now is we can go over here and Let's say you decided that you made a mistake and you wanted to quickly revert. You could revert back to the previous versions of this, uh, you know, to basically fix errors or anything like that that you would like. But as soon as you change this, then the association in either the route tables or the security group has also changed. So I'm thinking with route tables, this would be a great way for setting up routing, maybe for transit gateways and things like that. Uh, you could basically just say, hey, here are all the branch offices. If you're trying to get to the branch office, the default route is the transit gateway. And once these are up and running with Resource Access Manager, we could share it across all of the accounts in the organization. So really 
I think much more simple way to do this. And it also gives us a lot more governance because with resource access manager, we could create all these uh, prefix lists in a single account and audit and manage them from that centralized account. As I was getting ready for this demo, I was looking in CloudFormation because we do everything in CloudFormation. And I've noticed within the security group set up both ingress and egress, there are references already to prefix lists, but I couldn't find within the documentation how to create the prefix list. So I either just missed it or it hasn't been released yet. So I would suspect that it's, it's coming soon uh, at, the, at the worst case scenario or it's already there and I, I just could, couldn't find it. So have a look at that. Uh, obviously we would, on, we would want to codify everything if we can, makes it simpler. You can do all this through the CLI already as well, fully supported. So just a quick demo of prefix lists. Uh, get out there, build great things and uh, learn how to build on the platform. Talk to you later.